So she was like, you know, you're one of those people that you can't take correction. You can't. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean I can't take correction? guys welcome back to my channel it is michelle here if you're new here hey welcome go ahead hit that subscribe button and join this family here today guys i have a juicy chit chat with you um i'm gonna make this video vlog style today is actually my cousin's birthday nana you guys have seen her multiple times on this channel today's her birthday and so we are going to brunch so as i'm getting ready i'm just gonna tell you guys some drama that has been occurring at work y'all um but let me let me sip this water first okay but yeah, so I posted on my Instagram about a bullying experience I encountered and I asked you guys if y'all wanted me to do a story time. First of all, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at Michelle's Choice. If you guys want real life, real time updates on what's going on with me, with travel nursing, just with my life in general, definitely follow me on Instagram because you'll see things happen there first before you'll see it on YouTube. So definitely follow me at Michelle's Choice. But anywho, so I experienced this a couple days ago. And as I reflected on it, I'm like, maybe I should make a video about this. Maybe people need to hear the kind of things that happens in the world of nursing. Um, as much as I love being positive on this channel, like the negativity in this career also has to be addressed. So anyways, I was like, gee, should I make a um, story time about this? And you guys were like, yes. So here I am making a story time and I'm going to be talking as I get ready um, for the brunch. So per usual, I did my eyebrows off camera because I can't be that detailed while talking at the same time so my eyebrows are done and now we're gonna move on to the face and I'm not really gonna tell you guys what I'm doing because I'm not a professional makeup artist this is not a makeup channel so I'm just a girl living life let's fix this so yeah background of where I work you guys know I'm an ICU travel nurse and I also do PRN in the PACU this incident occurred in the ICU I feel like a lot of the mean girls are ICU nurses. Actually, no, I lied. LMD nurses. LMD nurses and ICU nurses, I think, are like right there, right there when it comes to mean girls and nursing, unfortunately. So, as an ICU nurse, you know, you work 12 hours, nights, days, at 24 7 on like the pack you in where you don't really have night shift. So, uh, it's like a 24 7 service. So, this one particular day, I walk in and I see my assignment and I see the nurse that I'll be getting report from. So I walk up to her and she was giving a report on one of my patients. That day, actually, I think I had two patients. No, that particular day, they tripled me. They tripled me. Y'all, it's not sweet. Okay, this travel nursing thing, it, it can be very difficult. I was tripled that day. She was like one of the people that was giving me a report. We gave reports to each other two days in a row. So she worked two nights, then I worked two days. So the hospital I work for, we like to keep the care continuous. So if you worked today, for example, um, and you're working like three more days in a row, they would like to keep you with your patients because you are more familiar with them than somebody else. So with that being said, you know, you encounter similar nurses and as you're giving report to people, you kind of vibe with them. You know, there are some people in where like, you're like, man, I love getting a report from you. Like, you're just so funny. You get to truly know your coworkers through the report process. But anywho, so yeah, I go and I'm like, oh, I'm getting this person. So she's giving me a report. And mind you, like this patient is septic and they're in the ICU, they're on a vasopressor, they're on norepinephrine, which is also called Levofed. And you can only give a presser, a vasopressor, through a central line. And mind you, this patient is septic, but they only had like one access. So it was a dialysis catheter, a trialysis. So there were two ports, two big bore ports that were for strictly dialysis. Then it has a smaller port that we're able to use as an access. So it's a central line. So that's where she was giving the vasopressor through, you know, which is just correct. So yeah, so she had that access going. But mind you, the patient is septic, so they need antibiotics sepsis meaning that they have an infection going and they're on antibiotics for it but because this patient only had one access guys as she was giving a report she told me i wasn't able to give the patient's antibiotic because the vasopressor was going through the access 
So when I heard that, I was like, hmm. In my mind, I'm like, you could have still given the antibiotic. Like, why didn't you give it? And then she went on about how she tried to get another, another access in, but she couldn't. So the patient didn't receive the antibiotic. So the first night I was like, okay. So then I had the patient. And during the day, you know, it was time to give the patient. They're getting like Zosin. It was time to give them the antibiotic. And mind you guys, the levofed was only going at like 0.04 mics. 0.04 mics is literally like three mLs an hour. Three mLs an hour, okay? It's not a significant amount of vasopressor, but we couldn't wean the patient off of it. They still needed it. So I was like, the patient's only getting three mLs of vasopressor every hour like why can't i give this antibiotic and because like i like technology i utilize one of the systems we had that allows us to cross check compatibilities when it comes to giving drugs through the same line so i'm like i'm not about to hold this man's antibiotic because i don't have an extra access so i looked in our system that we use to cross check these drugs and i did the iv compatibility it didn't say that levofed and zosin were incompatible so i was like why the heck didn't she give the antibiotic? So I went ahead and gave the antibiotic. I created like a secondary line and ran my Zosin through the only central line I had, through the only access I had with the levofed going at three mLs per hour. And Zosin doesn't last that long. It's like 30 minutes to one hour. So the charting system was like, yeah, Michelle, you can totally do this. So just give the man his antibiotics. So that's what I did. And so she comes back that and we're giving each other report and she was like as we're talking talking she was like oh yeah did you get another access for the patient I was like no um, I, to I told the PA but they weren't able to do it and then she was like oh so how did you give the antibiotic and I was like through the central line. and then she was like you know you're not supposed to <laughs> mind you guys <laughs> she's an older nurse okay she is an older nurse she is an African, like your typical African auntie, like that's her. And this is why I think the devil sent her my way because there ain't no possible way. There ain't no possible way that this lady made a, a, an issue out of this. So anywho, she was like, she was like, how did you give the antibiotic? And I was like, oh, through the central line. Um, she was like, you're not supposed to be giving anything with a presser. You, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. It's not safe, you can't do that. I was like. I understand but I looked through Micromedics which is the IV compatibility system that we use and it said that there was no interaction with Levofed so therefore it was safe to administer and she's like you never give anything with a presser like literally like raising her voice and then you know as human like if somebody raises their voice at you you also raise your voice back but I'm like assertive with it I know she's older than me respect respect but this lady was coming at me like wrong so then I was like that's why I utilized Micromedics to cross-check before I administered the antibiotic. And then she just kept going on and then she attacked my character. That's the part that literally threw me off guard. So she was like, you know, you're one of those people that you can't take correction. You can't. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean I can't take correction? All because I gave an antibiotic to a septic patient who needed their antibiotic through a line. And throw it with a medication that's going at three mLs per hour. You guys, can you imagine? I, I wish I wish I got my ICU nurses here to back me up on this because that was just unnecessary. But yeah, then she attacked my character. She's like, you know, you can't you don't take correction. I was like, why am I arguing with you? And so then she got me thinking, like, should I have not given this antibiotic? Like, am I am I not thinking correctly? So then I go into the break room and there's this other older nurse that everybody refers to for advice because she's been doing this forever and she's just so smart. So then I was like, hey, da da da, tell me why. Like, I just got a report and my nurse argued with me because I gave the antibiotic when I needed to give the antibiotic. And then the other nurse agreed with me. She's like, Michelle, you always give the antibiotic regardless. Like, what if it's an emergency situation and the patient has only one access? Does that mean that they don't get other drugs because you're giving Levofed at 0.04 mics. 
So yeah, she made me feel better knowing that I wasn't like, I wasn't dumb, you know? As, as much as the other person wanted to make me feel like I was. But yeah, she like confirmed my validations. So in rounds, I even had to tell them, I was like, hey guys, I wanted to bring this to your attention because this was two nights in a row that this particular nurse had not given this man his antibiotic. So I was like, to the team during rounds, I was like, hey guys, I'm not sure how well we're treating this man's infection because he's not been getting his antibiotics at night. And then they're like, wait, why hasn't he been getting his antibiotics at night? And I was like, because the nurse thought they, could, they can't give Zosin with Levofed and it's only going up three, mo three months per hour. And then I told them how she argued with me. I don't think they cared, but I was like, yeah, and then she went ahead and argued with me. And the pharmacist was right there too. And then she was like, Michelle, you're supposed to give this antibiotic. Like now they have to start this man's regimen all over again, like figure things out. And it was just a whole ordeal. And that was not the only incident, right? So then a couple days later, I, I received another patient from her. Literally guys, she's just, it's like a passive aggressive thing and I don't like it. So I'm walking into the nutrition room to get water for myself. And then she yells, are you ready to give me a report? Like, <laughs> <laughs> she just, it was just rude. The way she said it, I heard her. I was like, I'm going to go drink my water and then come talk to you. So I went and drank my water and I came back, but she was talking to another nurse. And I was like, okay, let me just sit here and wait for her um, to be done. So then she's done talking to the nurse. She walks over, but past me. And then I was like, are you ready to get a report? And then she's like, I've been ready. And I was like, no, you haven't. You were just talking to this nurse just now. And then she's like, no, I haven't. And I'm like, yo, this woman, she she was literally sent that's what i think i think she was sent and i was like i'm not gonna argue with you and then she was like rude girl <laughs> you guys i can't make this up she says she says rude girl and i'm like how am i rude let's go i just need to give a report let's go so then we walked to the patient because she likes to do bedside report so we walked to the patient and i was like you know you're the only one that thinks this here and she's like no another nurse told me told me that you're rude and then she's like but they're not gonna tell it to your face so i was like no, you're the only person that has an issue with me here. And then she's like, no, I'm the type of person, if I have an issue with somebody, I tell them. I tell them, I let them know, that's why, that's why. And I was like, well, maybe that's why we clash because I also vocalize my opinions. And then she just looked at me and we gave each other a report. There's just been like little passive aggressiveness going on. Another instance, she, I was sitting with a nurse, I was giving that nurse report. She walks by and then she says hi to the nurse really loud, like, hi and then like kind of ignores me and walks away <laughs> i'm like yo you're too grown for this like how old are you how old are you it's them african aunties man just you gotta be real careful like it makes no sense where her attacks were coming from makes no sense and like i said on instagram i took her to god oh my gosh what am i doing i'm using the wrong brush i took her to god but but i mean you guys does this does her attack make sense? How are you upset with me because I gave a, the patient his antibiotics? You know, I think what the root was, I think the root was the fact that maybe I made her feel a certain way when I told her I looked on micromedics. Maybe she didn't know what micromedics was to, to check IV compatibility. I don't know, but I'm so glad I'm not staffed over there. I'm not gonna let her interfere with my bag, okay? I'm not gonna let her interfere with my bag. I'm gonna still show up to work. And the thing is, she's like charged sometimes. So I don't know if she's gonna like give me all the terrible assignments. <laughs> but y'all, I'm gonna finish my face and then I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all some more. <laughs> As I reflect back on what happened, I think I'm a very assertive person. My assertiveness maybe came off to her as being rude, but I was basically just telling her, not telling her that she was wrong, but I was just letting her know that there was another route into doing things. And maybe she's the type of person that doesn't like being wrong and her being proven wrong caused her to act the way she did. That's literally my only rationale as to why somebody would act that way towards me. Like quite frankly, because of Jesus, I have changed a lot. So for someone to accuse me of being rude or just telling me that I can't take correction, like 
like it was the attack on the character part that's what got me i'm like this this is not like a physical thing okay this is not a physical thing like you don't know me you don't know me enough to be talking about my character all because i told you that zosin and leva fed can go together i just maybe i'm too like analytical when it comes to things i'm too spiritual when it comes to things but i brought that lady to god i said god whoever sent her whatever spirits is working through her deal with them for me because this makes zero sense but yeah i prayed and i left it to god and then i go to work and i'm okay you know i see her and it's like i don't have no hard feelings towards her to be honest because like i said i'm there for the bag i'm there for the bag and she's a staff nurse by the way so maybe travel nursing has to do something with it i'm not sure but anywho guys i'm about to clean up i'm done with my makeup very simple very simple brunch beat um, i'm gonna come back when i'm done happy birthday thank you <laughs> uh, so nice. i was just about to tell them how i surprised you with white roses oh my god let me get give y'all a close up that's what i want to go buy and go big ass oh you're so sweet i'm her favorite do this for everybody. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like to give people gifts. Oh God, no problem. You'll be repaid back in abundance. In Jesus' mighty name. All right, guys, let's, oh my God. Let's head to brunch. I'll do a full OTD when we have time. more time, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Quick OTD, I guess a half OTD. This is the birthday girl. What are you wearing? Sheen today. That's it. And the brands in Ghana, you know. How much did it cost you? American dollars, like $30. With the hair? Did they wash your Everything. hair? Everything. That's crazy. That's crazy. And my OTD. Y'all don't show my shoes because I'm a mess. But this dress is from PLT, MK Watch, and Louisa Jewelry. And Louisa. Oh, yeah. And here, of course, is from Ghana. Let's head to the restaurant because we're late. I really hate coming to the city because parking is always a struggle. I dropped the birthday girl off at the brunch spot and I just came to look for parking. And so I found parking, so I'm now walking over to the restaurant to join the rest of the girls. And yeah, so I was saying about these flowers, right? I bought them for her because I wanted to surprise her. Um, and that's what y'all saw earlier. But I don't know, I think it's a cute gesture. I was, I've been like so busy just working. I forgot to actually buy her birthday gift. And so this is like a last minute. I'll send you birthday gifts later thing. But flowers are cute. They're like a girl's best friend. So I'm a huge fan of flowers. But I'm about to get to the restaurant, guys. I'll talk to y'all when I get there. I want to do a toast. I don't think it's that strong. It's too big. There you go. Oh, perfect timing. guys it was crazy i just want to encourage all my new nurses out there stand your ground don't let nobody talk to you anyhow okay you know what you're doing you know what you're talking about do i have somebody laughing at me <laughs> i was vlogging earlier and i was saying something <laughs> but no guys like you know what you're doing don't let no grandma nurse come and tell you you don't that's basically it i think she kind of was intimidated by me. That's that's what it has to be. But you're a bomb nurse out there. You're a bomb nurse on the ground. And if you feel like you're being bullied, guys, please go to your management because bullying is not acceptable at all. Like, why why be a mean girl? Why? Anyways, um, I'm gonna talk to you guys in the next vlog. Thank you for watching this 
the video. Brunch was nice. Did you enjoy your birthday? Yes. <laughs> um, she enjoyed her birthday. That's all that matters. I'm gonna talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.